Hey guys. So, I'm not sure if I've made a video yet or exactly when this one's going to be going up, but in case I haven't done a home tour or explained anything, um, we recently were able to move into my grandmother's house. She had to go into the nursing home. So, in the process of trying to get our stuff moved in, we got to get all of her stuff moved out. Even though we're already living here and we've got most everything moved out already, there are still some things that haven't been taken care of yet. And recently, I seen on a talk show where they did like, what's in your cupboard for um, the talk show host. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that here with my grandmother's things because I'm finding some like off the wall, all oddball things. Just, and not necessarily off the wall, oddball, but just like old, like old stuff. Um, and I thought it might just be kind of cool to do on camera for you guys. And uh, we'll just go on this adventure together. So this evening, we are cleaning out the cabinets in the bathroom, so we'll see what all we find. So in case you're curious, I do have one bag for Goodwill, and that's this one right here. And then this one is everything for trash. There's my kitty's paws. <laughs> He's goofy. Okay, so let's get on into it and see what we find in here. A little bit higher than I anticipated. Okay. Oh, there's like a fuzz fell. I thought it was a spider. It was about to get interesting. Um, so first thing, medicated chest rub. We can throw that out. It was likely older than dirt. Um hydrocortisone cream. I've already found like Two brand new tubes of this, so we'll throw that one out as well. Old deodorant. That can go in the trash. Um, athlete's foot. Trash. Neither of us have athlete's foot. Toilet bowl cleaner. And it's open. And it's like crunchy sounding. Do you hear that? Yeah, I think that's probably as old as I am. So we're gonna trash. Oh, there's like, like crystally things here where it's falling out. Yeah, that's trash. That's probably older than I am. Um, Lamisil, antifungal. That's trash for athlete's foot. More Lamisil, trash. Lamisil, trash. And what is this? Car scent, odor eliminator. Uh, neutralizes. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. It's not focusing. Not that it really matters. Neutralizes biological in all airborne odors. So is this like hold? What is this? Hold bottle upright and spray in the direction of odor. Okay then. So it's just like Febreze, but like Febreze before Febreze. I don't know. We're throwing that out. Um, what is this? That looks like somebody's prescription. Yeah. Who's this? Is? That's my grandpa's prescription, and he kicked the bucket about 15 years ago, so that's trash. Um, <sighs> Allegiance. Cleansing deodorant. Trash. Um, take alongs. Hemorrhoid cream. That's trash. A random rubber glove. That's trash. More hemorrhoid cream. Also trash. What is this little do jobber? I have no idea. And you're like looking at the shelf. I'm sorry. So this is clearly going to be trash. The only thing I'm really understanding on this is hydrocortisone, which we don't need any more of that. And there's like more than just hydrocortisone in here. So that's trash. Broken bottle of Aveeno. I don't know if that's salvageable or not. And it's probably as old as I am, to be honest. Ew, it smells horrible. Yeah, that's trash. That's gross. It smells like old people. And not saying that's because it's a vino, because I've had a vino and it smells good. I think it's just because it's 
so old. Meconazole and nitrate cream, US 2%. Another prescription for my grandfather. That's trash. Another uh, hemorrhoid cream. Trash. What is this? Fleet glycerin. Suppos oh, these are like for when you need to go to the bathroom and you put it up your butt. That's trash. I think that's what it's for. I could be wrong. Old powder puff. That is trash. Old thing of baby powder. I always thought this jar was really cool, but it's literally been in here my entire life. So, I don't know. I might keep the jar and empty everything out of there. But it's like really old. So, I'm definitely not keeping the powder. Then we have glycerin suppositories. So, that's like more things you put up your butt, I think, to make you poop. Yeah, there are like these crystal things in there. We're learning all kinds of fun things about grandma's medical issues. She couldn't boot. Um, foot powder. And she had an athlete's foot, clearly. That's also trash. Um, what is this? This is like dirty looking. Daily care shampoo. Extra mild formula. And like, do you see how dusty this bottle is? It's been in the back of that cabinet for like a million years, probably. We're gonna give that a sniff and see. It doesn't smell great, but it's not horrible. But it's very medicinal smelling. So I don't know that I should trust that well enough to keep it. I just feel like soap's one of those things that like doesn't go bad. Like I've never seen an expiration date on a bottle of soap. But and it's from Walgreens. See that? It's Walgreens. And Walgreens didn't come to my town until probably about 10 years ago, if that, maybe, probably about 10 years ago, but yeah, I think we we're going to throw that in the trash. Look into the dark cabinet. Here's another one of those powder jars. Again, this has been in here like my entire life. And I think that's all of, I, think, I don't think there's anything on here. It's just a little blue jar with powder with a puff that is like a million years old. That's so nasty. So I might keep the jar. Definitely throwing out everything that's in there. Um, rare pearls, the shimmering body powder. Yeah, it doesn't smell very good either. So that's all some trash. There's like nothing in here worth keeping. Can you even see anything in here anymore? It's like so dark. Um, that was probably my grandpa's deodorant. That is trash. I don't even know what this cream's for. Oh, you gotta read the package to know what it's for. This is the bottle I seen in here earlier that's like so old, oh my goodness. Like I see these things on the WTF app all the time and they have like, what is it, like, like opium and stuff like that in them as like medical things or whatever. This one is sweet oil emollient, a fine quality bland and neutral oil with superior em emollient properties. Keep out of reach of children. Grade Drug Stores Incorporated. I haven't even heard of that. And it is laboratory tested. Can you read that? Oh, I wish my phone would focus. And there's nothing on the back. So, it's like a sticker that says Union. Can you read that? It says Union right there. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Probably can't. I'm probably holding it like too close. 
Okay, well, this is getting stupid. So that's clearly trash. I have no idea what's even in there. Sweet oil, clearly. But okay, and then we've got like this substance with a Dixie cup. That's got like a Daisy from Donald Duck and Daisy. Dixie cup. Um, what is this? Any idea what that is? Detergent cleanser. Antibacterial skin cleanser. This compound may be toxic if used other than as directed. Rinse thoroughly after use. Monitor patients closely for toxicity symptoms. Well, that's clearly going into the trash. Grandma, what are you keeping? You trying to kill people? And then there's three boxes of VO5 conditioning hair dressing. Gray, white, silver, blonde hair. So, and I have brown hair. I probably don't want to be using this. So, probably turn my hair gray. So, that's that for this cabinet. Um, this cabinet is like an open, vacant hole that goes into this cabinet because it holds a laundry basket. Oh good, a bunch of random bars of soap, which I'm going to have a tutorial on for that, for uh, how to uh, recycle old soap. So, that'll be getting saved. The phone's about to die. There we go, we've got the battery turned back on. I'm going to take a minute and put everything in the trash that we cleaned out of the other cabinet. Okay, time for cabinet number two. Are you guys excited? I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> I'm ready for all this to be over and be able to like move my own stuff in. So this is just a trash bag that I should trash bag, a trash can that she used for clothes, like a laundry hamper. It's empty, there's nothing in it. So we're not even gonna worry about that. And then over here we got lady care problems, which need to be donated because I don't use any of this stuff. So that can all come out of here. And then, can you even see anything? My goodness, this sucks. Um, spin Fresh. Ooh, I remember these. These things are like so old. There's like scented toilet paper holders. And there's like no scent in them or anything, apparently. So, that's weird. Whatever. Was that a cartridge? Yep, that's cartridge. See how like old that is? It's like that's like nasty. Dried out, but it's like was scented. And uh, for those of you who don't know, you insert insert it like so into your toilet paper holder, and then you put toilet roll on there, and you like put it, you know, where the toilet holder goes, or toilet roll paper. It's late, I'm tired. What is it? Toilet paper. <laughs> Where that goes. And then whenever you like get your toilet paper off, it smell good. Like, my mom had this, because my grandma had this. I know other moms who had this when I was a kid. And I never thought much of it, but looking back now, this is weird. Like, who thinks to do this? I need my toilet paper to smell good. No, that's just weird. I don't know whose great idea that was, but that's going in the church now. Um, we have some white rain. This is shampoo. Ooh, I bet that smells good. Yes, it does smell good. Something we get to keep. Yes. It's always great. And then there's a giant bottle of Johnson's Baby Moisture Wash. Vanilla oatmeal. I don't have no babies. Grandma had no babies. I don't know why she had this, but I found several baby lotion stuffs. Ooh, and it smells good too. So we're gonna keep that. And we're gonna use that. That's gonna work. More feminine things. Oh, is that one used? Do I wanna put this on camera? No, it's just open. Oh, it's like dust all over it. Yuck. Um, Clorox bleach for the toilet. We can keep it out. A disgusting old sponge. Ew, that thing is so gross. I remember when grandma got that and this was like yellow and this was blue 
You can see a little bit right there, peeking through. Yeah. That's gross. And it had, like, some cleanser thing in there. Like, she literally got these when I was a kid. Like, probably in the 90s. And I used to think they were, like, the coolest thing ever and loved these things. Apparently, she loved it so much, she couldn't get rid of it. That's gross. Ew. And it's got, like, all this stuff here that's from that sponge on these bars of soap. That's so nasty. Thankfully, they're all locked up in their boxes. They should still be good. So, you can keep these bars of soaps. And then all of these ones, like I said, will be getting used for that tutorial on how to recycle soap. So stay tuned to see that one. So while sorting through some of the random bars of soap down in the bottom of the cabinet, I came across a bar of Avon soap. And it's weird because it has George Washington on the back of it. Like, at first I was like, that's kind of cool. And I was like, wait, I wouldn't want to shower with this and rub his face all over my body. Like, that's weird. So, I just want to share that. Okay, so I think that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hopefully it didn't suck horribly bad. Oh, sorry about the lighting. The lighting sucked worse than I thought it would. I didn't think it'd be so bad. I thought you'd be more able to see what was in the cabinets. Um, yeah, so I'll likely leave it here. I don't know if I'm going to add on the other vanity or not. I guess you'll know because if you see it, the vanity cabinets before you see this, then you'll know that I added it on. Um, but I don't want this video to get too long or be drawn out and boring and bore people to death. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this evening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.